Extraordinary Kids, Extraordinary Stories, My Life, kicks off this Saturday at 11.30 with Tough Kids, CBBC on BBC Two. Galactic time capsule. But what are we doing here? Well, we're here to play a game. A game that's going to test your nerve, skill, and knowledge. The aim of the game is to wait as long as possible before you answer a question. The longer you wait, the more points you get. And the more points you get, the less likely you are to end up in this stuff. It doesn't look very nice, does it? Also joining us on the intergalactic time capsule, we have our computer. Now, he holds all of the questions. He's the Total Intelligence Mechanism, T-I-M, or Tim. Now, of course, there are rules, but more about those in a moment. First, let's meet my contestants. <laughs> now, today's team are from Bolton, and our first contestant is Callum. Hiya, Callum. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Who do you think's going to be uh, your biggest competition? today on the game? Um, Mason, probably. Mason. Really? Why's that? Um, because he's um, very smart and um, he's got a good game plan. Oh, really? You think he's got some sort of strategy, do you? Have you got a strategy? Um, no. <laughs> Just get the questions right? Yeah. It's good enough for me. I like that. OK, well done. Nice to meet you, Callum. Thanks. Next, we've got Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Hello. How are you? I'm OK, thanks. I think your outfit is fantastic, by the way. I love this T-shirt. And the stars fit in perfectly with our intergalactic time capsule, don't they? Now, what are you most nervous about today? Falling into the guns. Yes, of course. I can understand that. I wouldn't want any of it near my outfit, and I certainly wouldn't want you to ruin that lovely T-shirt. <laughs> Great stuff. All right, third contestant is Mason. Hiya, Mason. Hey. How are you doing, mate? All right, thank you. I understand you're a little bit of a comedian. I like to tell the odd joke, is that right? Yeah. Have you got one for us? Uh, you got yeah. a captive audience here. The floor is yours. Go for it. I have three eyes, four ears and five noses. What am I? Very ugly. <laughs> well done. Good work, Mason. I like your style, man. Cool. Our fourth contestant is Charlotte. Charlotte, how are you? I'm fine. I understand that you like to bake. Yeah. Is that right? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, normally, I help my mum make cakes and curries, but and sometimes she lets me bake my own. What's your speciality? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Oh, that sounds good. And I understand, because you like baking and because you like cooking, that one day you might like to be a chef. Is that yeah. right? Is that your ambition? Yeah. Cool. All right, well, nice to meet you all. Let's get cracking. Our first game is Wait For It. Now, every question has a series of clues lasting 15 seconds. You can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. For example, if you buzz in at seven seconds, get the question right, you'll get yourself seven points. Now, your competition is the clock and the other contestants. Now, there are ten questions in this round, and you each have three lives. Remember, you have to listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. All right. Let's have question one, please, Tim. We are the enemies of the Doctor. He defeated us in the Time War. He wants... Garlics. Oh. Again, Chelsea? Garlics. Sorry, Chelsea. Garlics is the wrong answer. You were so close, though. It's actually Daleks. <laughs> I, know, I thought you were going to kick yourself there. Really close, though. That means that everyone else gets four points each. Well played, though, Chelsea. Good try. All right, Tim. Let's have question two, please. I'm a type of water bird. In Jack and the Beanstalk, I lay golden eggs. There is a pantomime that has me in the title. My young are called goslings. Males are called... <coughs> oh, Mason. Uh, goose. Goose, correct answer. Well played. <laughs> ten seconds means ten points to you. Well done. Let's rock on with question number three. You might have to wear me every weekday. Everyone in your class will wear me too, so that we all look the same. 
Your jumpers, shirts, ties and black... Ooh, Charlotte in there. School uniform. Correct answer, well played. Eight points. <laughs> OK, question four, please. I'm edible and crisp and crunchy. I'm green, dark on the outside and light on the inside. I go well in salads and sandwiches. I'm long and can be slightly curvy. I have lots of... Oh, Charlotte again. Cucumber. Cucumber's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Two right answers in a row there for Charlotte. 11 points. Well done. OK, this is question number five, halfway through the round. I'm a type of big cat. In fact, I'm the second largest cat after tigers. Adult males have an impressive head of hair called a mane. I live in a group called a pride, and I let out an enormous... Ooh, Mason. Lion. Lion's the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> 11 points. <laughs> this next question is question number six. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a fictional British secret agent. I work for MI5. My boss is called M. I've been played by Sean Connery. <laughs> Ooh, in there, Callum. James Bond. James Bond's the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Did you know that one as well, Mason? Yeah. Yeah? I was trying to save my last life until I got some big points. Oh, very good. Excellent strategy. OK, question seven, please, Tim. You can only see me when it's light, and you're most likely to see me when it's wet but sunny. I'm curved and very colourful. According to the nursery rhyme, I... That's Callum again. Is it a butterfly? Oh, it's not a butterfly. The answer was actually rainbow. That means everyone else gets nine points, all right? Not to worry. Let's have question eight, please, Tim. I'm a worldwide youth organisation. My members wear uniforms and take part in all kinds of active pursuits, which may include hiking, woodcraft and camping. My name starts with an S. Callum again. What's the answer? Scouts. Scouts is correct. Well played. <laughs> you look surprised there. You look like you weren't sure. Was that a bit of a guess? Or... Yeah. Yeah, well, well done, anyway. 11 points go to you, but you have used up all of your life, so you're frozen out for the remainder of the game there, Callum. Uh, the next question is question nine, so, guys, listen carefully. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a fun and popular toy. You need to inflate me to be able to use me. I often have a funny face drawn on me. I look like a large balloon, and I'm usually coloured up... Ooh, Charlotte. A space hopper. Space hopper is correct. Well played. <laughs> That's all your lives gone as well there, Charlotte, but you did bag yourself nine points, so very good. Mason and Chelsea, the only players left in this game. We've got one more question, so guys, listen to it closely. I'm the anniversary of a saint. People celebrate me by exchanging gifts and cards. Often the cards are not signed. Ooh, Mason. Christmas. Christmas is the incorrect answer, I'm afraid. If you'd have perhaps waited a little bit longer, you might have realised it was Valentine's Day. That was the answer. It was Valentine's Day we were looking for. So that's seven points to the other players. And that is the end of round number one. Who's done enough to survive? Who waited the longest? Guys, if you could leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. OK. I can reveal that the first person safe and definitely going through to round number two is... Charlotte, well played! <laughs> OK, the second person who is safe and definitely going through to round two is... Mason! Well played, Mason. The funny man's hanging around for a little longer. All right, two down, two left. Callum, Chelsea, you two remain. You look a little bit nervous. Your tummy's turning a bit. Nothing to worry about. It's all a bit of fun. The person taking a fall into the goo portal is... Chelsea! See you later, Chelsea! Oh, no! Lovely T-shirt! We'll see you again! <laughs> Callum, 
That was a bit of a close call, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, what was the look on her face like when she fell into the goo portal? Like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a close call, but well done for surviving. Well done. OK, this is round number two. It's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but it's got the same scoring system. I'm going to give you a category, and then you have to decide how many seconds you think you'll need to answer that question. Now, you won't hear the question, you'll just hear this annoying ticking sound. So if you stop the clock after eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue. If you get it right, you'll bag yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll continue to play the clues and your opponents will have a chance to grab those points. OK? Everyone yeah. ready to play? Yeah. OK, let's wait for it. <laughs> All right, guys, the first category is places. So we're going to play the clock first. Let's have it, Tim. Remember to watch each other. Keep an eye on the clock. Who's going to buzz in first? <coughs> oh, it's Charlotte at 12 seconds. All right, Charlotte, you're going to hear 12 seconds worth of clues now. I'm a place where certain types of creature live. You could have a small one of me in your home or visit large ones in special buildings. I need light and heat to provide the right environment. I'm full of... OK, Charlotte, that's 12 seconds worth of clues. Can I have your answer, please? A cage. It's not a cage, I'm afraid. That's not right. We're going to open up the question to the rest of the contestants, so let's continue with the clues, please, Tim. Water. You might see tropical fish and other marine life in me. Oh, out of time there. Uh, we, uh, we got up to 15 seconds. The answer was actually aquarium. Question number two, and the category is entertainment. Let's start the clock, Tim. Mason's poised, kind of eyeballing each other. Oh, Mason there, got in first at 10 seconds. Mason, let's hear 10 seconds worth of clue. I'm a superhero. I fight criminals like Dr Octavius and the Green Goblin. My real name is Peter Parker, and I take photos for the Daily Bugle. I develop my special powers after being bitten by a radioactive... Now, Mason, I think you knew the answer at three seconds there, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. What are you going to go for? Spider-Man. Spider-Man, absolutely correct. Well played. <laughs> Ten points. Well done. OK, the third category is pop music. Pop music. Everyone glued to the clock. Oh. <laughs> Callum was in first. Stop the clock at 10 seconds there, Callum. Let's hear your clues. I'm an English female pop star. I was born in London and have lived there all my life. I became famous in 2008 when I made many appearances on a television talent show. That's 10 seconds worth of clues there, Callum. Do you know what the answer is? No. You don't want to give a, a bit of a, a guess, a stab? Kate Perry. Kate Perry's the wrong answer, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, we're going to give you guys the chance to grab some points. Let's continue with the clues, please, Tim. Which I eventually went on to win. My first single, Hallelujah, was the Christmas number one. Oh, out of time there. The answer was Alexandra Burke. It was Alexandra Burke. All right, never mind. Uh, this is question number four, and the category is the natural world. So let's start the clock, Tim. Oh, Charlotte, in at 11 seconds. Let's hear 11 seconds of clues. I'm a type of tree. I'm big and strong, and my wood is used to make furniture and other things like ships and barrels. My leaves have an interesting shape, and decorations on some medals and flags copy. Right, Charlotte, that's 11 seconds. Do you know the answer? Is it an oak tree? The answer is oak, absolutely right, yeah. Well done, well played. 11 points. Excellent. The next category is people, so uh, let's start the clock and buzz in. Points are going to matter at this stage, guys. They're really going to count. So, ooh, Mason buzzed in at 10 seconds. Let's hear the clues, Tim. I'm something almost everyone wants to belong to, and most of us belong to whether we like it or not. Most animals like to belong to them too. They can be really big or they can be really small. Perhaps just you. It's 11 seconds worth there, Mason. Any ideas? Um, an animal keeper. <sighs> it's not. I'm afraid it's 
No, that's the wrong answer. Sorry about that. We're going to play the rest of the clues, see if anyone can grab these points. Let's continue, Tim. One other person. Usually, but not always, I contain one or two parents and one or more children. Oh, that's out of time. The clock ran out at 15 seconds. The answer was family. It was family. OK, this is the final question in this round. This is question six, and it's on general knowledge. So, Tim, start the clock, please. Ooh. Tension. <coughs> oh, Callum in there first. Nine seconds. OK, let's hear nine seconds of clues, Tim. I'm something that no one likes. You might experience me near roadworks or on bank holidays. I make car journeys take much longer than planned. When to... OK, that's nine seconds worth, Callum. Do you know the answer? Train. Train is the wrong answer, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. We're going to play the rest of the clues. This is the last chance to grab some points, guys, OK? Let's continue, Tim. Many cars want to go down the same... <coughs> Ooh, Mason in straight away. Traffic lights. Traffic lights is the wrong answer, I'm afraid. The answer we were looking for was traffic jam. You were really close, though. Well played, everybody. That's the end of the second round. Who waited the longest? Who's going to be joining me in round number three? There's only one way to find out. Guys, leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. Let's get the information from Tim. I can reveal the first person safe and definitely going through to our next round is... Charlotte! Oh, you look relieved there, Charlotte! Are you pleased with yourself? Yeah. Great, good, good, good. OK, the two lads are left. Are you all right, fellas? No, <laughs> all right. You're holding your nose there, Mason. All right. The person leaving the drop zone and entering the goo portal is... It's Callum! Sorry, Callum! Get him away for bye, guys! Oh. Well done, Callum! See you later! Wowzer. That was one heck of a drop, wasn't it, for Callum? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was it like seeing his face as he went in? Funny. Yeah. <laughs> he was smiling, though. He looked like he was having a good time, didn't he? Yeah. OK, great. Well, this is round number three. This is our head-to-head -head round. And uh, this part of the game tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Now, I'm going to give you a question category, and you've got to decide when they're going to buzz in with the answer. Now, you've got three time options. One to five seconds. 6 to 10 seconds and 11 to 15 seconds. Now, the person answering will have no idea what time you've predicted. If your prediction's correct and they answer the question correctly within the time you said, then you get a point. If they answer it correctly outside of the time you said, then they get a point. Now it's time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. Now, Charlotte, you waited the longest out of the first two rounds, so you get to decide whether you want to predict first or answer first. What do you think? Predict. That's great. All right, well, I can tell you that the first category, Charlotte, is entertainment. Now, before you make that prediction, let's talk to Mason about his entertainment knowledge. So tell me, Mason, you, uh, you're a bit of a joker. <laughs> you like comedy. Do you watch TV and um, yeah. you into music? Yeah, I like music. What's your, what's your favourite band? Um, well, I don't really have a favourite band, but I have a favourite singer. Favourite singer? OK. Uh, Eminem. Eminem, OK. All right. So he likes his music, watches TV, he's a bit of a joker. You know a little bit about what he's up to, Charlotte, OK? So I'm going to ask you now to make your prediction, please. Excellent. OK. So we've all seen the prediction. Of course, Mason can't see it. Let's have the clues, please, Tim. I'm a TV channel for children. I show programmes such as Chucklevision, Raven and the story of Tracy Beaker. My presenters include Barney, Sam, Ed and Outro the Cactus. 
My programmes are also shown on BBC One and Two. Chances are you're watching me right Oh, just in at 15 seconds. What's the answer, Mason? CBBC. CBBC, that's correct, but let's look at the prediction. Ah, Charlotte predicted one to five seconds. You came in at 15 seconds, which means you get the point, Mason. Well played. Well done. OK. Next category is numbers, and it's your turn to predict, Mason, all right? So, Charlotte, how are you on maths? Rubbish. Rubbish! You don't like maths at school? No. That sounded like a genuine response, but she could be bluffing, Mason. You know her pretty well, don't you? Yeah. All right. She's not giving much away there. Are you ready to make your prediction, Mason? Yeah. Superb. You just press the button when you're ready. OK. All right, that's Mason's prediction. It's time to hear the clues. Could we have them, Tim, please? I'm a prime number, and the sum of the two numbers before me. There were this many wise men who came to see baby Jesus. Ooh, in at seven seconds, what's the answer? Is it three? Three is the correct answer. Let's see the prediction. Six to ten. You came in at seven seconds, which means you answered within the predicted time slot, Charlotte. <sighs> Which means Mason gets a second point. Well played. Good work. So, Mason, if you get the next one right, you'll be going through to the final. The next category is objects. Now, Charlotte, it's your turn to predict, so let's just have a little chat with Mason. Objects, it could be pretty general. What's your general knowledge like? Um, I don't know, it's a bit foggy, cos I don't really... I'm not really a general knowledge person. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do very well on this okay. one. He says he doesn't think he's going to be doing very well, but is he bluffing? Who knows? It's for you to decide, Charlotte. You ready to make that prediction? OK. OK. You can all see that? Here come the clues. Let's play them, Tim, please. I'm something you wear. If you're riding a bike or a horse, you have to... A court. Oh, that's the wrong answer. You buzzed in at five seconds. Let's have a look at Charlotte's prediction. Six to ten, which is outside of the predicted time, which means nobody gets the point. It's a bit... I know, really close. <laughs> you need this one to win. You need this one to stay in, Charlotte, OK? So, the next category is general knowledge. It's general knowledge, and, Mason, it's your turn to predict, all right? So, Charlotte, what's your general knowledge like? I'm not that sure, really. You're not sure? Are you into a lot of different things? Yeah. General things? Yeah. So you, you've got good general knowledge, that's, that's what I would say. <laughs> All right. Well, she thinks she's got good general knowledge, but is she bluffing this? And I don't know. It's time for you to make your prediction. Just press one of the three buttons there on the pad. OK, that's the prediction. Tim, let's hear the clues, please. I'm a place where people have jobs. I'm usually very big and I often have lots of staff working in me. I have lots of machinery. The workers are usually part of a production line, making just one small part of the final product in me. Ooh, in at 12 seconds. What's the answer, Charlotte? Factory. Factory is the correct answer. Let's see the prediction. It was 6 to 10, so you answered correctly outside of the time, which means you get the point, Charlotte. Well played. <laughs> Very good. You saved yourself. You're still in the round. Well played. Well done. You need to get this one right to stay with us, OK? Mason, if you get this one correct, you'll be going through to the final. All right? We're at question number five. So the predicting player is Charlotte, and the category is places. Mason, how are you on geography? Um, I'm actually quite good. Oh, are you? Yeah. All right, well, he says he's pretty good on geography, Charlotte. What do you think? Is he telling the truth? Make your prediction. OK. Tim, let's have the clues, please. I'm a country. My major cities include Cape Town, Johannesburg and Durban. In at six seconds. What's the answer, please, Mason? Um, England. England. It wasn't right. Incorrect. Let's look at the prediction. Oh, so the prediction's wrong, so no one gets that point. So overall, after five questions, with a total of two points, the winner is Mason. Well played, Mason. <laughs> Charlotte, unfortunately, do you know what that means? Yeah, you've got to take a walk into the drop zone. On you go, Charlotte. 
Charlotte, you played a good game. You've been an absolute superstar. But we do have to say goodbye to you. See you later, Charlotte. Bye. Good luck. Yeah. Keeps you a bit walking around there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, you've been brilliant so far. You've been absolutely great. How, how do you think it's been? Seeing all my, all my friends from Bolton just going in the guns, yeah, it just makes me wonder what does it actually feel like in the guns. Oh, well, you may find out, you may not. It all depends how this last game goes down. This is your final challenge, all right? You're going to hear a series of questions. Each question is ten seconds long. Now, you've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make it across the goo portal. Watch how it's done. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh! -ho! <laughs> what grace! Oh, yes. But the longer you take to get across, the better your prize will be. If you make it over in 40 seconds or more, you'll be taking home one of today's star prizes. The best of luck. You ready to wait for it? Yeah. OK. Let's play. I can mean more than one thing. I can be like a bus. I'm often used for taking children on school trips or groups of people on holiday. I can also be someone who trains a sports team. Um, a car. Oh, I'm a popular takeaway meal. I'm deep fried. You might put salt and vinegar on me. A batter coats my fish alongside small pieces of deep fried potato. I'm a meal bought at a chip shop. Um, Next question. I'm a creature, like a fly, but much smaller. In fact, you only have to mention my name and some people will itch. I can jump very high. A bee. Dogs and cats. Mm, I'm incorrect. something that people collect. I have a picture on me. I can be put in an album. If you like football, you might be able to collect your favourite players. If you peel off my back, you can stick me on something. Hence uh, my name. Playing cards. That's incorrect. Next question. I'm something that everyone uses at one point in their lives. I'm necessary, but I'm not always pleasant. I can be made of a toweling material, or I can be disposable. Babies wear me. Nappies. That's correct, move forward. I'm eaten mostly by children on hot sunny days. Sometimes I'm milky and other times I might have sugar strands on. Ice cream. That's correct, move forward. I'm a type of vegetable. I'm used in many recipes. The piece of me that you... Oh! We know what that means! Help me with a countdown, guys! Three, two, one! You get to take away your own intergalactic space bouncer, so you won't go away empty-handed. Well played. <laughs> what another fantastic game. We'll see you next time on Wait For It. It feels good to get at the end because you know that you've done well. Gunch is good. The gunch is like a gooey, shampooy, watery... Pete, you're a really good host, and is your hair a wig? Scientist. Butcher, butcher. Butcher. Scientist. Um, I'm trying my best here, right? <laughs> I told you before, this scientist. is quality scientist yes, material. Yeah. Good. Uh, yes, today we are scientists yeah. and we are carrying out an experiment. I like that sound effect. It's good. Yeah. 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 Well done. Uh, today it's not a sound effect, it's an actual experiment what is taking place. Today's experiment is what is the effects, right, of CBBC on your face? Yes. Yes. Today, Dr. Hacker and Dr. Ian are tr joined by two trainee doctors. Yes, trainees. Dr. Mark Hello. and Dr. Sam. Doctor. Okay. Right. So you're gonna, you guys need to strap in and learn. Okay, okay. we can well, do that. Okay. Yeah. So you guys at home have been getting involved, so let's see the first picture. 
Mm. There it is. Hey. Dr. Lydia there. It's good. She's looking at Pete Furman from Wait For It there. She's, she's all right. She looks she? a bit surprised. She's oh. a bit close to telling. Yeah. I know you're just... your eyes, that Lydia. Yeah. 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 Well, that, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a no, strong no. start from which we can build. I like that. I like so, that. I reckon yeah. in between static and standby. Yeah. Dr. Mark, you're good at this. Yeah. yeah. Have you done this before? OK. No. Sign for no. the next experimenter. Yeah. OK, okay. again. Uh, hey, it's Dr. Hey. Stewart and Dr. Patrick. I like that one very a lot. happy. They're very they're, happy. They're delighted. They're, yeah. they're, see, this is good. This is what we're sort of thing we're looking for. That's too. the face. That's the good yeah. So that's going to go so right, well. young the salmon mark then too. Just above, mm, the next salmon mark maybe. Eh? What? what? As if. Sorry. <laughs> good just look that. above standby there. And finally, <laughs> final God. person. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what hey, that was. Hey. <laughs> Dr. Georgia there. What's she doing? She's uh, watching it at right angles. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a mathematical thing. Math well done, angle. Georgia. You see, that had done my head in Georgia. A lot of clutter in front of that telly. I'd have to get up and move it out of the way. Get all the distracted. I can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> He's Norman. He's Norman. He's Norman. He's Norman. <laughs> so, that's quite good, though. High def, maybe? Yeah, I liked yeah. it. I okay. liked it. Well, Mark, Sam's having a shocker, so, Mark, do you want to tell everybody what they can now do? <laughs> well, what you do is you send in your faces watching the...